Isles of the Strange and Exotic. Finished my errands haul as I am rocking the Bieber here. I'm still trying to figure out how to like style my hair. So I'm like, okay, what if I flung it over the other side? I'm like, you know, I'm kind of liking this. <laughs> you know, have a little bitty bar red eventually, you know. So, yay. I got sick of the seaweed, so I put the blue in, or put the purple in, which kind of works with the blue, so. Those are like my, my comfort colors, I guess. I always end up in the purples and the blues. So I was aiming towards the reds, but we'll see. So, the first thing I got, I got Monday when we went shopping to Walmart. And I, I am a whore for these things. And these are actually done by Yankee Candle. It's American Home by Yankee Candle. And, oh, holy mother of everything that smells wonderful. These smell wonderful. This one is Fruit Teeny. And these were originally five bucks, so they're on clearance for a buck. So I'm like, this is why I usually do <laughs> You find something you like, and it's like, do I want to burn it? Should I put it and burn it? So, ooh, maybe I'll save these for, for summertime. Ooh. But the, uh, it, it just smells like something delicious. I mean, ugh. Sniff? Sniff good? Yes. And this one's the Fruit Teeny. And this one was the first one I picked up, which was Perfect Margarita. Ugh. Again. Originally five bucks. I'm clear for five. I'm clear for one. And this does smell like a damn good margarita. You just want to like... It just smells so juicy. But I don't remember if I've ever actually seen them. In, well, maybe not. They might not have it in the Yankee Candle store. But they're by Yankee Candle. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> push down here. And the next thing I got is I'm trying to remember is stuff that I got today, since I had to, <laughs> kind of had to go out and do something, and I'm like, <laughs> so I figured, well, since I'm out, went to the will, got gas, which worked perfectly, because I broke a 20, and that, the rest of it went to the gas and a coffee, <laughs> so, yay, so, did that, and just sort of did a giant loop, like I usually do, and this I kind of contemplated getting before, then I'm like, well, I need one more dollar, because I'm at five, or what I got was four, but I did end up finding something for a dollar. But I picked this up anyway, since I have all of the Alien series. I have Alien 1, 2, and 3. And then it came with the one with Renato Ryder. I haven't bothered watching again. Uh, <laughs> whatever the hell that one is. And I'm like, you know, I gotta kind of finish the collection. So I picked up Aliens versus Predator. And I've seen maybe not quite from halfway. Maybe a little more than halfway to like the end so I kind of know what happens so <laughs> it is kind of a cheese fest and there's actually pretty decent special features in here audio commentary uh, making of featurette DVD-ROM contact first edition AVP comic book but I don't know if that's digital or not oh <laughs> let's find out shall we didn't realize the actual thingy was in here huh. wow Available on DVD for the first time ever. The original Star Wars trilogy. <laughs> Which I think I have. I must have. Of course I have. Might not be that exact one, but of course I have. <laughs> <laughs> nope, I see no comic book. NASCAR Returns. Wow. 2-20-2005. The 47th Annual 500. Wow. I remember the special thing they had for the 50. I have stuff that says 50. Is this movie really that old? I don't know. But I should probably watch it tonight, later tonight, as I plan on doing a lot of uploading and I can't really do internet stuff in the meantime. <sighs> so, I expect a giggle, and I, 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 I'm sorry, but when I saw the alien for the first time, of course, I knew what a xenomorph looked like. I mean, it's been around since, like, the 18th century. But it's like, they had to, like, throw a spotlight on this dude, and I'm like, it's like, dude in a costume. Awesome costume, I might add, but it's like, had a little smoke, and, you know, didn't, don't, like, show everything, show enough. I think they let, like, it was all, it was all, you know, I expected to have him a top hat and a uh, cane going, da -da 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 -da. it's like, all right, I got it. <laughs> so, this is a cheese fest, really good. Uh, I doubt I'll be doing a review on that since everybody's probably seen it. The next thing I got was literally the first thing I picked up, and I'm going to craft project here. And I thought this was kind of cool. The only problem I have with these kind of purses is that they're kind of heavy to begin with. But I liked the fact that it came with the long strap so you can wear it over your body. But I just kind of like the shape of it. And it has 
a little pocket in the back, which is cool for the, like your phone or something, because you always want to kind of easily access that. I like the idea that there's like a hidden, like, even if you <clears throat> lock it, you kind of, it's not so terribly obvious. So it is and it isn't. I don't know. It's kind of, kind of silly, but I kind of like that feature. So you've got a little pocket there. Mm. Plenty of, do we say it? Pockets! Uh. And it is big enough to put what I like to carry, so that's pretty cool. I just saw, I saw the thing that tells me made in China. Is this it? Nope. I know there must be a tag in here somewhere. I don't know, but I, I like the inside. It's kind of pretty inside. Yeah, I have no idea. I thought I saw the... Don't even see the thing and this is made in China. It is an obscure thing that I know nothing about. No tag. And it doesn't smell of cigarette, which is always good. Oh, made me a penny. Does anybody else remember that, like, if you ever got a bag or a purse, they would put a penny in it? Was it a prosperity thing? They used to do that to me. Or my family used to do that Ugh, all the time back in the day. Yeah, push out the bottom there. I can't tell you anything about it. I thought I saw something and I didn't. But it made me a penny. So. Uh. Obscure bag. But it's kind of cool. <laughs> so, I liked it. Mm. But again, they're still kind of heavy, so you have to like put light stuff in it. I don't know. And the last thing I got, I have special plans for. Now, I kind of was like looking around because there's nobody at the thing, and I'm like, la la la, hit the jewelry. I put the necklace thingy on. And this caught my eye. And I kind of debated whether I wanted to do it or not because some of the pearls are missing. Because <laughs> I got this for a buck. It said Avon. You open it up, and then it's all done. And it was missing three pearls. So you open it up, and it still came with the little cover piece that said, Regents Parfum Glace, Avon, Avon Prod, New York, and a bunch of stuff. Well, this was in here, and I'm like, well, what the A? So I kind of look online. The only places I could find anything about it was like Etsy and stuff. So online, you can get this exact ring between $8 and $25. <laughs> and what it is, it's a perfume ring. There was like a solid bit of perfume, and you can kind of sort of smell, smell what's left. So I was kind of debating, well, since it's vintage from 1970-something. <laughs> I don't know. So, you know, should I repair it? Should I not? It's like, well, it's like vintage, but I'm like, well, the pearls that I used are obviously not the same because they're actual beads. So it's like if they're ever voluble. And I, I didn't use, like, epoxy. I used just tacky glue, so we could just pop them off if you had to and, you know. And I don't know if some of them have been replaced. I don't know. But I thought it was kind of cool. So I'm probably going to scrape out the 40-year-old <laughs> what's left of this. And what I plan to do is put, like, a little lavender, like, wax melt. Because I think that might stay a little better since it was a solid, similar type of thing. And kind of have a lavender in here, which is kind of what I want. Because there's very little... It, it just smells faintly... So I do want it for the same purpose, but I want to be able to change out what's in here. And it's adjustable. Uh, I don't know what this would have been originally. I couldn't find any information on that, but I thought that was just so freaking cool. So I figured, since I can't, you know, I'm in a fancy place and I might not have the option of wearing, like, my anxiety helper there, my lavender scent thing, I could use this so it's a little less obvious what it's for. So, that is my plan for that. So, I thought that was nifty. There was no price. Like, oh, there's no price there. Buck. Like, okay, cool. <laughs> so, I got a vintage ancient Amazon ring. 
I mean, it is kind of ugly as all get out, and I dislike gold, but it's more for a practical reason than, than an aesthetic one. So, I was happy about that. <laughs> Put you there. And I guess that's it. I've already rambled for 10 minutes. <laughs> so, thank you for watching. Do remember to comment, rate, share, and subscribe. There's always room for one more at the Strange and Exotic. See you next time. Bye. I should check, see if that's straight before I film. <laughs> this time we're good. Bye.